What's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to make a plywood mid-century modern coffee table with the help of my new CNC machine. So I've been mucking around a lot in Adobe Illustrator. I came up with this simple leg design. I'm pretty happy with it. In 2D, I know it's not 2D, it looks pretty good. I wonder how it's gonna look when I add a nice top to it and a nice shell. First thing I'm gonna do is cut some plywood in this rough rectangular shape and we'll go from there. All right, now I'm gonna grab my template and trace it out two times on this board and cut it out with my jigsaw. When I cut it out on my jigsaw, I actually don't have to be that perfect. I'm actually gonna be two millimeters on the outside of that line because I'll use this template and my trim router to cut it to my final size. Now I've jigsawed out all the pieces, I'm going to use some blue tape and some super glue to temporarily fix this down to the template and I'll take it over to the template router to get these cut out. Alright, now I'm going to cut a shelf for it. I'll just hold that like that. I want to put a shelf in between here. I'm going to use my CNC to cut out a shelf with some nice little lines in it just to give it a little bit of detail. Oh, I forgot to screw it down. All right, I finished cutting that on the CNC. It turned out really nice. I gave it a quick sand. It's definitely not a final sand, but I gave it a quick sand. When it came off the CNC, since the piece of plywood wasn't referenced properly against the board, the distance between this bottom right, this bottom cutout and the bottom is a little bit different. So what I did is I measured 50 mil off from this bottom track, and I'm gonna get my track saw, cut that for a perfect reference line, and then I can chuck it on the table saw and cut it on the other side. All right, now that's done. I'm gonna get my two legs and I'm gonna mark out exactly where the shelf is gonna go. I'm gonna use screws from the outside and then plug it with a dowel because it matches my other stuff upstairs. All right, for this magazine holder, I actually cut a little piece 18 mil by 18 mil, and I wanna put that at the bottom, so when the magazines rest on this, obviously they don't slide off. I'm just gonna attach it with some wood glue, and just some clamps for a while, it doesn't need much. All right, while that dries, I'm gonna cut this top, simple rectangle, there to there, there to there, there to there. So I'm gonna cut that. Now, I've put the top on, but I'm not that happy with, I'll just flip it around so you all can see. Okay, I put the top on, the camera angle is not the best, but I think the top's too heavy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut 100 mil off the top. When I think of mid-century modern, I think of curves, thin, minimalistic. So I'm gonna cut this 100 mil off the front and hopefully make it look a lot less bulky. Actually, I've got an even better idea. Instead of cutting it now, I'm gonna attach the top. Make sure my screws are further enough back so when I chop it with my track saw, I can do it in one hit, nice and clean. This is why I like designing on the fly, is because sometimes what you put on the computer or paper, it doesn't really, doesn't really capture what your vision was in the start. You might have noticed earlier that I was drilling through this little piece of scrap before with a little hole in it. Basically, that hole is the same, same diameter as this. So when I drill through it, hopefully it reduces the amount of tear out I get on the finished piece. All right, finished gluing and screwing that up. <clears throat> now I'm gonna take off these clamps. As you can see, this is sort of like a good standing angle. You don't really see that shelf on the bottom. So hopefully when I take this 100 mil off the top, that gives you a little bit more vision of the shelf, just so it doesn't look like a giant block.
So the drill bit I use to drill out where the screws are going is 3 8 Now 3 8 to metric is 9.52 I think. So I picked up some 9.5 millimeter dowel and I'm gonna cut it flush with my trim saw and that will make it nice and tidy. I'll give it a good sand and then I'll start my first coat of polyurethane. All right, now I'm gonna head outside and put two coats of polyurethane on it. I'm using water-based, not oil-based, because water-based tends to make the timber a little bit lighter. If you use oil-based, it used to, usually goes yellow for a couple years, which I don't really want. So, using water-based. The project turned out even better than I expected. When I was drawing it up in Illustrator a long time ago, I thought mm, maybe this won't work, but I'm super happy on how it turned out. It's good to see a design that I did actually looks good. Anyways, if you liked the video, please hit subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram, it's at Urban Goods. You'll get more day-to-day -day updates on what I do. Also, you'll get little sneak peeks at my next videos. I hope you have a great week. Don't forget to hit that like button, and I'll see you on the next one.